Now, the Bible tells us why people are rejected. Look at 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse number 7. 2 Thessalonians chapter number 2, look at verse number 7. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, who the Lord shall, dis- shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. You say, well, why? Why would God just send somebody else? Why would God cause all this bad stuff to happen? Because they received not the love of the truth. How, how can you say that's unconditional? It's, it's, it's conditional. Because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Notice verse 11. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. Why does God send strong delusion to them? Because they receive not the love of the truth. Why would God reprobate somebody? Because they changed the truth of God into a lie. And it says, for this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. It doesn't say God just randomly gives people reprobate minds and randomly gives people grace and randomly gives them mercy. No, it's based on something. It's based on if you receive the gospel or not. It's based on if you receive the love of the truth today. And notice these people are going to be damned. Why? For the cause that they received not the love of the truth. Now he's going to do what? He's going to harden them. But why is he hardening them? For this cause... Because they receive not the love of the truth. Now, when you receive not the love of the truth, beware, because then it might get worse. Notice what it says. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. CNN, you know, that they all might be damned. Now you say, why are they damning them? Who believed not the truth, but had pleasure and unrighteousness. So why? Hey, they love sin so much. They love iniquity so much. They rejected the truth. They hate the truth. And because of that reason, God will harden them to the point where they'll never believe. Like who? Like Pharaoh. To the point where he can have all kinds of plagues that are just obvious from God and he still rejects it. Just like the atheist and the reprobate and the fag today who can see the world and it's obvious that God exists. It's, it's manifest, his creation. His Godhead is manifest. His power is manifest. Everything about who God is manifest. The truth of the gospel is manifest. It's all obvious to them and they just reject it and they reject it. And you know what? The magicians are looking at Pharaoh and it's like, this is the finger of God. How can you not believe? And because they they did not receive the love of the truth, because they rejected God, God will give them strong delusion to the point where they'll never believe. Hey, the Jews that saw Jesus Christ healing in the power of the Holy Ghost, and he's performing miracles before their eyes, and they're like, that was the power of Beelzebub. He's like, you know what? You'll never believe now. I'm going to harden you so much. But it wasn't based on nothing. He didn't just say, hey, you Jews, damned, specially damned, you know, you damned more, you know. It's because they were rejecting what God was doing. It's so clear in the Bible. 